Understanding Anuman and Types of Anuman In the previous lectures, we have already talked about what is Anuman. So we focus on the three components of Anuman which are the Sadhya, the Hetu and the Paksha. Paksh is the minor term, Hetu is the middle term and Sadhya is the major term. Now these major, minor and middle terms are similar to the Western syllogism that we have discussed and therefore understanding the relationship between these three becomes interesting. We have always taken the example of the fire and the smoke to understand the concept of Anuman. Now here again when I am talking about the Paksh, Hetu and the Sadhya, the relation between Hetu and Sadhya, which is the middle term and the major term, that is smoke and fire, it is called as Vyapti. The relation between the minor term and the Hetu is what is known as Pakshadharmata. And the relation between the Paksh and the Sadhya, where Hetu and Sadhya are related, is known as the Paramsa. So that is the basic understanding of the concept of Paksh, Hetu and Sadhya. A very very simple example is when we start beginning with the concept of the hill has smoke, Wherever there is a smoke, there is fire, so hill has fire, is the simple concept that I can say. Or I can say uh, the hill has fire, wherever there is fire, there is a smoke, so the hill has smoke or the hill is smoky. So there is where I am trying to create a relation between the terms and that is the primary aspect. But this Anuman could be classified into various ways. The three broad classification that we understand for Anuman are based on purpose, based on cause and effect and based on application. Let's go through these one by one. So cause and effect, we have three categories which are Purvavat, Sesavat and Samantyudrasht. When I say Purvavrat, there is a perceived cause and an unperceived effect that is there. That means I see dark clouds in the sky and I say, I infer an unperceived effect that there would be heavy rainfall. So that is what is Purvavat. The previous is known. The next is Sesavat. Sesavat says the effect is known. That is when I see a city flooding, the effect is known, it is perceived. But the cause behind that is unperceived and I say might be there was heavy rainfall because of which the city is flooding and therefore it is known as Sesavat. The last is Samantyudrishta. Samantyudrishta means there is no relation between the cause and the effect. There is just an information which is based on experience. For example, whenever I see ducks, I say there should be water nearby. That is because of experience that whenever I have seen the ducks, I have seen water nearby. And the two things coexist together and that is based on my experiences and therefore it is Samantyudrasht. So that is the types of Anuman based on causal relationships. The next is the purpose. Now based on purpose, there could be two categories. First is Swartha, Swartha Anuman or the Anuman for oneself or the Parth Anuman which is the Anuman for others. When I say Anuman for oneself that means as a person I see a fire on the hill and because of uh, the smoke that I have seen, I remember the universal relationship between smoke and fire that I have heard. But that is the Swatha Anuman because I have first perceived it myself. I have seen the uh, fire on the hill and then I have seen the smoke coming out. And because of that, I have in mind the universal existence of smoke and fire. So that is Swatha Anuman. The Pratha Anuman says that there is inference of the existence of fire in the hill. And that is proven as a conclusion from the major and the minor premises that are there. So that is what is the Pratha Anuman or the Anuman for others. It is proven, it is given as a thesis. 
The next criteria for understanding the types of uh, Anuman is based on the application. The first one is the Kevalian Navai. Uh, the Kevalian Navai uh, is the classification where we try to create a relation between middle term uh, and the uh, the uh, middle term and the major term. So let's say I have a very simple example. I say all knowable objects are nameable. Pot is a knowable object and therefore pot is nameable. So what I am trying to do is I am trying to create a relation between middle and major term and that is what is known as Kevalian Hawaii. Kevalian Hawaii is one of the basic examples of application. The second one is Kevalian Vratike. That means there is a negative relationship that is related to the major term. The middle term is only negatively related to the major term. What does that mean? I say no non-soul substance have life. That means no non-soul. That means all soul substance have life. But when I am trying to represent it, I am trying to create a negative relation. And that is no non-soul objects have life. And then I say all living beings possess life. So that is an example of Kevalyana Vratikai. And that is a negative relation between the middle term and the major term. The last one is Anvay Vratikai. That means here you have Anvay and Vratikai. So Anvay from the positive and Vratikai from the negative. That means the relation between the middle term and the major term is both negative as well as positive and therefore it is known as Anvay Vratikai. So a good example is all smoky objects are fiery. The hill is a smoky and therefore hill is fiery. Now here there is a negative and a positive association that we are trying to establish between the major term and the middle term. And therefore it is Anvyay Vartike. So Anvyay means positive. I repeat again. Vartikai means negative. Varti Reiki means negative. So Anvyay Varti Reiki means both positive and negative. So it is both positively and negatively related to the major term. The middle term is positively and negatively related to the major term. That is smoke is positively and negatively related to fire in this example that we are discussing. So this is the very basic classification of Anuman and the types of Anuman. Usually you have questions which pertain to either of these Anumans. We would be covering many more interesting lectures in Indian philosophy. Stay tuned for many updates from our side. Have a wonderful day ahead.